Toyota's fancy new engine runs on ammonia. It's a big deal in car tech and might even give electric cars a run for their money. Toyota has been trying out different ways to power cars, and this ammonia engine is their latest idea. They already have cool cars like the Mirai and the Yaris that use hydrogen, but this new engine is even cooler. It's all about finding new ways to make cars go, and Toyota's leading the charge. This revolutionary engine, developed in collaboration with Chinese automaker GC Motors, represents a departure from traditional gasoline engines. Despite its similarities to conventional engines, the use of ammonia as fuel introduces unique technical considerations. The 2.0-liter inline-4 engine is expected to produce around 160 horsepower, making it suitable for compact sedans, hatchbacks, and crossovers. Toyota's partnership with a major Chinese manufacturer underscores its strategic vision for future market dynamics, especially considering the growing presence of Chinese brands in Europe. Ammonia's advantages over traditional fuels are significant. Notably, it emits virtually no pollution, with potential CO2 emissions reductions of up to 90% compared to gasoline engines. Additionally, ammonia is a relatively abundant resource that can be sustainably produced, promising long-term viability. Although production methods for ammonia are still evolving, its potential affordability and eco-friendliness make it a compelling alternative to gasoline. In comparing ammonia engines to electric vehicles, environmental considerations take center stage. While both aim to offer pollution-free transportation, ammonia engines boast certain advantages. They promise to be more eco-friendly and potentially cheaper to run, especially as production methods improve and ammonia becomes more mainstream. Despite the rise of EVs, ammonia engines present a formidable challenge, signaling a new chapter in the quest for sustainable transportation solutions. Environmental-friendly electric vehicles, EVs, tend to pollute quite a lot indirectly. For starters, lithium-ion batteries are extremely toxic to produce. Lithium mining itself does a real number on the environment. Mining lithium pollutes both nearby water sources and the soil, rendering a solid piece of land completely lifeless. Furthermore, electric energy is still being produced using mostly fossil fuels. Recharging an electric vehicle, especially when fast charging, uses up a lot of electricity, which in turn means that EVs indirectly pollute quite a lot. Furthermore, there are also logistical benefits to using ammonia instead of electric energy. First of all, refueling ammonia-powered engines is the same as refueling regular vehicles. This means that you won't wait substantial amounts of time for your vehicle to be ready to continue driving. Also, ammonia-powered engines are considerably cheaper to produce than EVs. It's no secret that EVs have been losing popularity because they're extremely expensive. The price difference between a BMW 3 Series and a BMW i3 is hardly justifiable when you'll need to drive the latter for 10 years for it to make sense from an economic standpoint. Economic Benefits since ammonia-powered engines share most of their DNA with regular gas engines, you can rest assured knowing that you won't need to trade an arm and a leg to drive one. Another key benefit is the general mechanical simplicity that comes from using an internal combustion engine. With regular maintenance, these engines should last you quite a lot of time. Scrap that, this is a Toyota engine, which means that it'll last you a lifetime, even if you accidentally bash it with a hammer every time you wake up. Granted, a vehicle fitted with Toyota's new ammonia engine will be considerably less pay than an EV. However, most of us don't care all that much about 0 to 60 times. We'd gladly trade speed for added durability and dependability, as well as ease of maintenance. So, yeah, there are a lot of benefits of using ammonia over electric energy to power vehicles. Ammonia versus hydrogen hydrogen engines that were developed by Toyota also shared these pros, which left a lot of people confused about why Toyota decided to develop an all-new technology when they were already pioneering a similar technology. This leads to the question, are ammonia engines better than hydrogen engines? 
We wouldn't say that using ammonia is flat out better, as there are benefits on both sides, but we will say this. Ammonia engines make more sense than hydrogen at the moment. Hydrogen engines, for starters, use the most plentiful element in the universe as their propellant, which is honestly impossible to beat. However, despite that, hydrogen is still expensive to produce and come by, and it is also considerably more dangerous than ammonia, infrastructure, and development. Unlike hydrogen, the infrastructure that surrounds ammonia is considerably more developed, making ammonia a much better fuel at the moment. Not to mention that even though hydrogen is more plentiful than ammonia, ammonia can still be produced in solid amounts. In fact, due to the better developed infrastructure, ammonia is generally cheaper to produce than hydrogen at the moment. Not to mention that ammonia itself is often used as a source of hydrogen, which further explains why it's currently much more logical to use ammonia instead of hydrogen in the long run. Yeah, we expect hydrogen to catch up to ammonia. However, the beauty of ammonia lies in the fact that its further development also aids the development of hydrogen engines. The technology is fairly similar, and since there are engines that technically derive hydrogen from ammonia, it's easy to understand how the development of such engines goes in favor of hydrogen development. However, despite being very alluring, ammonia engines are not without fault, which leads us to one of the most concerning questions that surround the technology, and that is what are the problems with ammonia? There are quite a few problems that arise from using ammonia. The first one comes from a purely logistical standpoint, and that's the fact that ammonia burns considerably faster than regular fuels. This means that ammonia-powered engines will burn through considerably more fuel than regular gasoline engines. This tends to be a problem mainly because ammonia isn't easy to come by. The process of acquiring ammonia is a fairly expensive one, which means that driving an ammonia-guzzling engine wouldn't be all that economically viable. Granted, ammonia is still considerably cheaper than hydrogen. However, it's still nowhere near as affordable as regular gasoline. Thankfully, Toyota and GAC mostly overcame this problem, and the 2.0-liter in question is a fairly economical engine, at least for ammonia engine standards. This has been achieved by using ammonia as the primary fuel source. Older engine designs used to utilize ammonia either by blending it with fossil fuels or breaking it down into hydrogen and nitrogen, then using hydrogen as a fuel cell to propel the vehicle. Toyota's design, however, relies on spark and compression ignition, which allows for better efficiency compared to the blending option while also being generally less complex than dividing ammonia into hydrogen and nitrogen. However, these aren't the only problems that arise from using ammonia.